I was visiting my parents. A few years ago, I remember I was visiting them, and uh, my mom was really nice. She was like, Michael, I will give you a ride to the airport. Sweet. Free ride to the airport. <laughs> yeah. And as we were driving, she was like, Michael, I just want to let you know that marriage is a lot easier if you find someone who has the same religion as you. <laughs> Not a free ride to the airport. <laughs> I should have checked out those Uber prices. <laughs> they should have an app for that. Like, this is how much Uber costs. This is how much Lyft costs. We hacked your mom's email. Uh, this is what she wants to trap you in the car and talk to you about for 45 minutes. <laughs> While driving 45 miles an hour in a 55 mile an hour zone. <laughs> I just didn't get it, you know? Because at the time, I was raised Catholic, you know? At the time I was dating someone who was Race Protestant? What am I supposed to do? Be like, hey, hey, before we talk about marriage, I'm gonna need you to believe in Jesus a little differently. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's more rules, but there's more days off, also. <laughs> there might be a Wednesday in February where your forehead is a little dirty, and it's, uh, <laughs> it's a very important time. It's reverent, it's important. It's weird getting advice on relationships when you don't ask for it. I remember the first time it happened. I was, I was, a, I was like in middle school, I was, I was 12, and I got in an argument with a girl in my class. We were doing a project together. And our teacher, instead of just fixing that, was just like, hey, you two keep arguing, you'll probably marry each other. <laughs> Which is weird to know that like an adult looked at us and they're like, that reminds me of home. messed up. Now, every time I have a personality conflict with someone, I have to be like, she could be the one. I can't get along with her at all. I need to pursue this farther. Or is it further? I'm sure she'll correct me. If she's the one, she will. I've been in relationships, I feel like arguing is the hardest part. Like sometimes when I'm in a relationship and there's an argument, I feel like, not even an argument, I just feel like I've been brought to court. <laughs> and not like in a country where you know all the laws. <laughs> I feel like I got pulled over, the police officer's like, do you know why I pulled you over? And I'm like, no. And he's like, well, neither do I. <laughs> but we're gonna talk about it for a very long time. <laughs> I have trouble being happy when the other person's upset at me in a relationship, which is a bummer, because that's when I have all my free time. <laughs> yeah. The schedule just opens up, like, what am I gonna do? I could do anything. I'll probably just feel scared about my future. <laughs> I can do that for a couple days. One time I got into an argument in public. It wasn't really an argument. She was just speaking loudly, and I was walking as fast as I could. And, uh, <laughs> 